hi everyone in this video i'm going to explain about electromagnetic velocity measurement or electromagnetic velocity transducer so in the previous video i have explained uh, what is the difference between velocity and speed and uh, what are the measurements involved in the linear and angular velocity suppose if you want to measure the velocity so two types of measurements you can do one is linear velocity measurement another one is angular velocity measurement so in the case of linear velocity measurement this is the first method used to calculate or measure the velocity of a device which is an in motion okay so in the linear case this is the first one electromagnetic uh, velocity measurement so in the electromagnetic velocity measurement again there are two types we have considered there one is moving magnet moving magnet type and the second one is moving coil type moving magnet type and moving coil type this is the these are the two methods comes under this electromagnetic uh, velocity measurement now coming to the first one moving magnet type velocity transducer see the diagram moving magnet type on how the construction is taking place one permanent magnet is taken which is having north and south poles one ma one magnet is taken which is having north pole and south pole whereas the this magnet is being covered or protected by a coil protected by a coil these are the coils that have been wounded on a material so the magnet whether it touches the ground level or not it is having the air gap it is having some air gap now whatever what we are doing velocity in the magnetic is in velocity in the magnet which is having north and south poles has been applied on this velocity so some velocity is applied on this one so that the air gap may increase or decrease depending upon the movement of the velocity okay whereas coil has been wounded surrounding wounded across the completely around the what is this magnet okay so output we are taking from these two loads which are connected to this magnetic coils okay so now let us see the sensing element is a rod type of permanent magnet that is rigidly coupled to the device whose velocity is being measured so the sensing element which we are using to measure the velocity that is a rod type permanent magnet the rod type permanent magnet which is having north and south poles this is this one this one okay so which that is rigidly coupled to the device whose velocity is being measured so it, it this is the this is the main element which is used to apply some velocity in this one so that the resultant electro voltage will going to be changed in the coil there is a coil surrounding the permanent magnet the motion of the magnet includes a voltage in the coil and the amplitude of the voltage is directly proportional to velocity so whatever the amplitude produced in the output that is proportional to the velocity of the permanent magnet so some voltage some parameter is being replaced is being measured in some other parameters changes like velocity i want to measure so velocity i have applied on this magnetic magnet so simply what happens the motion of the magnet includes a velocity voltage and of a coil and the amplitude of the voltage is directly proportional to the applied velocity okay so whatever the amplitude we are getting that is proportional to the applied velocity physical parameter v the polarity of the output voltage determine the direction of motion so polarity velocity i told you already velocity is a vector quantity it is having both magnitude and direction so that negative or positive polarities have been shown in the result that polarity determines the direction of motion plus or minus so some advantages and disadvantages are there for this uh, moving uh, magnet type velocity transducer here what happens why it is moving magnet here the magnet is moving here the magnet is moving and going away or inserted this there this happens normally at a fast rate like velocity okay so the coil is fixed here the surrounding part is fixed here from where we are taking the output whereas the magnet is in motion that's why it is moving magnet type velocity transducer so coming to the advantages and disadvantages of uh, magnet type velocity transducer 
the first one is advantages the maintenance requirements of these transducers are negligible because there are no mechanical surfaces or contacts so the maintenance of the requirements of these transducers are negligible where we no need to maintain the device for like uh, uh, maintenance is nothing but suppose servicing is required for that device or some oiling is required so in such things we cannot do every time or uh, frequently because there are no mechanical surfaces or contacts we are not at all involving any mechanical sources so servicing or any maintenance such thing, such type of things are not required <coughs> the output voltage is linearly proportional to velocity the output voltage is linearly proportional to velocity suppose the velocity whatever you are going to measure that output voltage is proportional to the polarity of either negative or positive velocity either negative or positive velocity so disadvantages let us see the disadvantages along with uh, advantages the performance of these transducers is adversely affected by stick magnetic fields these uh, fields can cause noise the performance of these transducers is adversely adversely affected by stray magnitude fields these fields can cause noise so whatever the stray capacitance or anything such devices are there definitely some magnetism will be affected and so that the noise interference will be there the frequency response is usually limited and is stated these transducers are not in very useful for measurement of vibrations because their calibration deteriorates contact with steel tool etc leads to progressive demagnetization so what happens here as we are using some magnetic magnetic material that is being moved in the to and fro movement between two coils which are fixed whereas the magnet is moving if, if in such case if anything is going wrong so if we if it loses the magnetism and then the work will be stopped we cannot measure we cannot measure the velocity <coughs> so there these transducers are not very useful for the measurement of vibrations we cannot use this uh, measure this device to measure the vibrations rather than only the velocity of any soft moving items okay and the second type is moving coil type moving coil type velocity transducer in the first case moving magnet type where the coil is fixed and magnet is moving but in the second case now magnet is fixed here see the pole pieces is indicated pole piece is indicated here south pole and north pole here the magnet is fixed whereas the moving coil is moving whereas the coil is moving so how it is moving it goes like this and it goes like this so it goes a 45 degrees in the upward direction and again one one more 45 degrees in the downward direction so the coil is being now moved so this coil has been uh, fitted to this this side like a stop and this side it is a pivot assembly okay so as the south and north pole magnets are fixed here and the coil is moving the name it is as moving coil type velocity transducer so it operates it operates essentially through the action of coil moving in the magnetic field a voltage is generated in the coil which is proportional to the velocity of the coil so the voltage which is generated in the coil which is proportional to velocity whatever the final parameter we are measuring voltage that voltage is corresponding is, is uh, responsible for the corresponding changes in the circuit so voltage is generated in the coil with the proportional which is proportional to the velocity of the coil the coil is mounted on a pivoted arm this one see this right side we have pivoted arm where the coil is located because coil doesn't have any other support only through this pivot assembly so pivot arm is used to mount the coil and there is a mass attached at the end of the arm so at the end of the arm some mass is attached to see the left hand side we have mass here left hand side we have mass here 
so that there is a mass attached at the end of the arm right side left hand side we have attached the arm and right side it is are connected to the pivot arm pivoted arm so the velocity to be measured is applied to the arm velocity to be measured is applied to the arm and therefore coil moves in the field of permanent magnet okay so what we are doing the velocity of the measured the velocity to be measured is applied to the arm so we have a pivot arm here look at this point we have a pivot arm so whatever the velocity you want to measure that is connected to this pivot arm so what we are doing simply it causes some vibrations in the front and backward directions between these two magnetic poles because these two poles are fixed permanent magnets now it is fixed whereas the coil is moving between this source and this what is this, this south pole and north pole so that some movement is there in the coil rather than a magnet. So a voltage is generated on account of motion of the coil in the magnetic field. <coughs> some voltage is generated. Output voltage is proportional to the applied velocity. So advantage of moving coil type velocity transducer. This is more satisfactory arrangement at the as the system no forms of closed magnet forms a closed magnetic circuit with a constant heat gap and the whole device is contained in an electromagnetic anti magnetic case which reduces the effect of magnetic fields so this is somewhat advantage compared to normal uh, moving uh, what is this moving magnet type so it is having somewhat uh, like a uh, some characteristics or features of this one advantages of this moving coil velocity transducer so in the next class i will explain you the remaining types of this uh, uh, elect what is this first one linear velocity linear uh, velocity measurement thank you